Mr. President, Sodwin sees the UPR, UPR as a means for encouraging dialogue between delegates of member states as well as NGOs who give voice to the voiceless. We do, however, encourage the Council to actively work for the review process to be clear from politicization. There are still states that do not respond to the peers' recommendations in the UPR se session. Instead, they delay their reply until the adoption in the regular session of Human Rights Council, and some leave it to the last days, making it impossible for the UN to translate and states and stakeholders to properly evaluate the response. Furthermore, states' partial acceptance of recommendations makes it difficult to ascertain what commitment they have taken, which undermines the follow-up process. In order to prevent vague and unclear commitments, we urge states to more coherently report as to which parts they have accepted. The recommendations are too often not clear as to which measure the accepting countries need to take, while we urge member states to provide more clear and coherent recommendations. In case of appointments of a special Reperture, the Council should support the Reperture's means of assessment, including access to the countries in question, in order to improve the accuracy of the recommendations and due process sessions. We note a severe lack of will where accepting countries do not, in fact, implement recommendations accepted and urge member states to follow up through the midterm report. We urge Council to take active steps and work towards a consensus, a consensus between member states regarding the core values of human rights in order to make the UPR session more efficient. As an example, some states repeatedly reject any recommendations on the abolishment of the death penalty, which shows the important need of a mutual understanding of the scope of basic human rights. Thank you, Mr. President.